In this lesson, I want to explain a spline. What is a spline? And for example, if you click here, and what is intermediate point? These are a spline. You can access our spline here. These are parametric spline. For example, in this flower, we are in model mode. Click on it, and in attribute, you can change its parameter. The spline are base of our modeling we'll be teach you all of this generator for example extrude click and drag and make a ch flower child of the extrude and you can see going to the filter and <clears throat> turn off the and as you can see this is my flower that we extrude you can simply going back to the uh our spline parameter and change them you can animate them easily okay this is all about a spline this, these are a spline these are parametric spline and you can simply make them editable okay you can make editable and the symbol uh, change like this and we have to go into the point to control them you can see and now it <clears throat> changed to the param as from parametric change to editable and you can change these lines and points for example going to the line going to the point and you can change the point for changing the line you have to go into this tool a spline pen and you can simply uh, change this line we will be explain all of this in detail don't worry and you can change uh, line and change point easily as you can see the spline has a, a beginning and the end the beginning of the spline is uh, <clears throat> white is going here and it's turned to blue when it's reached to the end you can see it's a light blue okay going to the top view and from the spline pen you can simply click click and click and drag and uh, draw any spline that you want here okay for example i go into the first and click to close it double click to make it <clears throat> for example i draw this spline for explaining intermediate point this is a spline as you can see I start from here, the beginning of the spline is blue and it's going to here to the light blue, to the end. Okay, going to the perspective with this spline, I simply use an extrude. If you can, if you see our spline, any spline, if they are parametric or uh, editable or make editable plug uh, spline, here there are a fixed setting called intermediate point they are very important for us they are common sitting here going to the spline in the intermediate point if you change them you can see any different here because this sitting uh, show itself when we extrude the spline show itself when we uh, make a 3d object from this spline so that we simply click and drag it here and as you can see we make a 3d object from that spline that we draw going back to the spline as you can see we have two points here and a line it's one point and one point in between them the software create all a lot of point inter internally to make this object as you can see we have a, some rough problem here and uh, we can uh, fix it with intermediate point for see those lines you have to go to display and growth shading lines you can see that lines okay the default mode between intermediate point means the point between these two points for example is in a natural natural mode means if uh, we are in this corner that we have to uh, 
uh, create this shape, it automatically uh, reduces this distance between the point and make lots of line and point to create this smooth edge. Or, for example, in this part of the model that we don't need to any point, it uh, in increase uh, the point width and it create less point. But here you can change the number, uh, increase or decrease it. You can increase that. And you can see our shape are better in this corner. Going to the none, you can see the intermediate point none turn the extrude off and you can see we have not a smooth point. The intermediate point of, for example, these two points are disappeared. No, nothing in between them. Uniform. Turn it on and uniform. Uh, it is uh, in a uniform. You can see the width between the point are equal and it is uniform. It does not concern, for example, if you are in edges or in a straight line. But however, you can change the number of the <coughs> intermediate point. Uniform spline is uh, very important. For example, in some cases that we animate our object on a spline. Adoptive is very uh, clever one. As you can see, when we are in this corner, that we have more point for creating this corner, it makes a lot of point here, create a lot of point here, but in this straight lines that uh, we don't need any many point to create this straight line. As you can see, the widths between point are more. And here you can change the angle. If you simply reduce the angle, the more point will be created. And the best mode is subdivided. As you can see, it's subdivided. You can change the angle, reduce it, or change or reduce the maximum length. You can reduce it to create more point and a smoother object. But if you are going to the subdivided mode and for example you can click here and editable as you can see we have a lots of point and polygon here it, cre it creates more polygon more polygon means your object become heavier and more resources from your pc uh, engage for calculation these are good but you have to Pay attention if you have tons of model, you have tons of polygon and you got in the problem. Okay, control Z. And this is intermediate points, very important. Play with this setting to know all of its conditions. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.